Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to price forward contracts. We will let R be the risk-free rate of return. Then F, the forward price, must be S0, the stock price at time 0, E to the R T, where T is the time the contract is executed. Let's see why this is the case. So case one, if not, then there are two cases. Then case one would say that the forward price of the contract is larger than S0 e to the RT. In this case, what we can do is the following. We can borrow S0 from the bank. and invest in the stock. So we can purchase the stock since we borrowed that money. After time t, we will have S1, the stock price at time 1, and O, S0 e to the RT. So if we had entered into a short forward, then we can sell for F, and we know by assumption that that is larger than S0 e to the RT, which means that when I sell my stock for F, I will have more than S0 e to the RT to repay the bank. So I will repay the bank, and net F minus S0 e to the RT. And that's a violation of the arbitrage principle. Let's consider the second case. Case 2. Where F, the forward price, is less than S0 e to the RT. Then what I will do is I will short sell the stock meaning that I will borrow the stock and immediately sell it. I will then gain S0, the price at the time 0, and invest risk-free. In this case, after time t, I should figure out what kind of forward contract I should enter. I will enter a long forward contract. Then, at time t, I will have S0 e to the rt, and I'll be obliged to buy the stock for f. But S0 e to the RT is larger than F, so I have at least that much money.
we buy the stock, we return it since we short sold it, and we gain we will have a gain of e to the rt s0 minus f, which is again a violation of the arbitrage principle. So the only possible value of f, which is consistent with the arbitrage principle, is the value f is equal to the initial stock price s0 times e to the rt, where r is the risk-free rate of return that you can get from a bank or from buying a bond or something of the effect. Thank you very much.